We're up here at the Sealy Lookout just above Coffs Harbour. The reason being we want to check out those hills over there because that's where we're going. The reason I'm standing here in the Coffs region goes back a couple of weeks. You see, we put a post up on Facebook asking for a few of the locals to show us around. We got an overwhelming response, hundreds of people. But there were two whose knowledge of the area and knowledge in general meant that we just had to have them. And I tell you what, it has paid off. These blokes are going to show us coughs like you've never seen before. My advice to you, sit down, grab something cold, make yourself comfortable because this is going to be Coffs Harbour four-wheel drive action style. And trust me when I say, you've never seen anything like it. Epic doesn't even do it justice. Joining me for a trip that I'm sure none of us will ever forget is old mate Shauno in his tough as nails Dirty 30. Way down the back is Chris from Superior Off-Road. With a wealth of mechanical experience, his skills might just be useful on a trip like this. Of course, Breno needs no introduction. He absolutely loves coughs. The harder, steeper and more extreme, the better. Up front we've got our two readers who are acting as guides for this trip. Grant in his slick GQ ute and Rowan in his flaming beast of a G60. Starting just north of town, we're tackling tracks that all Coffs locals know about and are really the testing ground for anyone heading up here looking for a challenge. A little later in the trip, we're going to head out Bellingen Way to the promised land to cool off. Straight off the blacktop and we're all airing down right away. It's directly down to the low 20s for most of the convoy. This is serious terrain requiring serious attention to traction. Back in Coffs, Shauna. Back in Coffs Harbour, mate. I love this place. Yeah, you do. It's a bit of a, uh, it's almost like if you're really into four wheel drives, this is Sydney four wheel drive's backyard after the Wadigans. Yeah, that well, makes sense. Look, it doesn't, but I'll tell you what does make sense, mate. This is probably the, the toughest single series of tracks in Australia. And oh, I can, definitely I'd, I'd be agree. brave enough to call it the four wheel drive capital of Australia right here. You get no arguments from me. I know who you won't get arguments from. Brenna, you got a copy? Yeah, big fella, how are ya? Mate, Shino and I are up here, we're, we're frothing like dishwashing water, mate. Absolutely loving it, looking forward to it. Hey, Chris, you got a copy way back there, mate? Yeah, mate, I'm way back here. Well, you get a load of this convoy up front, we've got the greatest four-wheel drive ever built, and yeah. then behind it, probably the second greatest four-wheel drive ever built. Grant, you got a copy? Yeah, mate, I got gotcha. you. Thanks for the invite for this weekend, and I'm um, really looking forward to it. Mate, can you, what we're going to ask of you though is just one favour, can you just drive at about half your ability? That'd be fantastic. <laughs> it's not me you need to worry about, Graham. It's, uh, it's Rowan and the old 60, mate. It really shows everyone up. Rowan, you got a copy, mate? Yeah, I got a copy, mate. I learned to drive in a vehicle, I was going to say similar to that, but it was actually nowhere near it. It was a 60, but it wasn't. Uh, it, yours is a bit of a beast, mate. Thanks, mate. It's still a 60 and a half, mate. Well, I'm looking forward to this, boys. What have we got up first there, Grant? Uh, we're just going to tackle the bottom of Commando and just uh, get a feel for it. Then we, we're going to look um, head up to Mount Caramba, which is a, a lovely lookout to uh, check out for sure. Commando, did he say? Commando. Bring it on. I've got a story about Commando. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's get into it, boys. I'm amped. Commando's one of the first DVDs I've ever done with full drive action. Yeah. I nearly rolled the 60, but it was a full body wagon. I literally had 33s on it, and that's it. I nearly rolled it on its side at Commando. I never drove it past the first. Why are you telling me that? I never drove past the first two metres of that track. Why are you telling me these things? I don't, want, I don't want to know these things right now at the base of Commando. Yep. Mm. So here we go. Shono's already had one attempt in the past, and he nearly put the 60 on its side. Let's see how he goes in round two. Tell you what, Coffs Harbour. We've just had breakfast, literally just had breakfast. Just finished your bacon and eggs. We've only just stepped off the blacktop. In fact, if you were to turn everything off, sit down and listen, you'd probably hear the trucks on the highway. This right here, it's called Commando. I've got no idea why it's called Commando. I reckon that's a pretty tough name. We'll go with it. I hope it's not called Commando because of the Commando roll. You know what I'm talking about? The boys are having a look. They're picking their lines. I've got nothing more to say than to shake my head. This is Coffs Harbour through and through. You boys confident? Yeah, yeah. of course. <laughs> <laughs> Stay, you stay here, mate, and we'll just bring the cars up. I like that. Quiet confidence. Right, right let's get into it. Come on. You're not having a go? No, you thank you, sir. Come on with me? No, thank you, sir. It'll be the smoothest ride you ever had up here. Really? Really, serious. No. no. Still no? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I've let a, a, a fellow four wheel driver down. Something tells me I can still Grant love. needs about zero of my help. Zero. In fact, I'd probably be a hindrance other than help. <laughs> Grant's up first and he set that GQ up to be low, light and geared right down. I've seen him in action before and his approach is calculated and precise. He's going to eat this. Have a look at that, will you? Oh, you 
You are kidding me. That's insane. That's a tough line. Grant's made that look so easy. Look at that, straight up the hill. He really did make that look like nothing. And this is Commando. Really appreciate your help on that one. No, that's good, mate. I had you all the way. It was... You just got to listen to me a bit more. That's all I'm saying. I'll you know, do, I'll do my best for the next one, mate. Do my best for the next one. That was one. ridiculously stable. Come on. What's yeah. the secret? Just low is the way to go in Coffs Harbour. Yep. Yeah, just keep them low. Lots of uh, off-camber stuff here, so I purposely I was build say, it for that reason. That's what I wanted to touch on. You've purposely built this. It's a low truck. That's a very low truck yep. in comparison to what you see running around town, yeah, for sure. And you're driving everything as hard as that. Nothing, nothing soft, everything. No, we, we like to challenge ourselves. Don't get me wrong, we, we do winch. Yep. But... Um, majority of the time we're able to drive it. So low, slow, and pick a good line. That's the way to go. Watch your spotter. That's it, watch my spotter. <laughs> I did nothing. I yeah, did nothing, I did nothing at all. Right, are we doing the second bit? I'd love to, yeah. Let's get stuck into it. Let's Come get on. stuck into it. Those really are some words of wisdom. If you're chasing super tough terrain, build your truck low and hit the challenges slow. It also helps to be able to pick killer lines like Grant. Nice work, mate. Commando done. Rowan, I can hear the big beast start up. You don't miss that in the forest. It sounds like a Mack truck. I'm so keen to see the big G60 in action. Get a look at that beast, will you? Oh, what a line. I'm pretty sure Rowan just picks the hardest lines to have fun. How good is that rig? I reckon you could pretty much transplant this truck from here, put it into something in America, and it would look just as home. Yep, put a machine gun on the roof and it wouldn't look out of place. That thing is a beast. Super impressive. Here we go, Sean O versus Commando, round two. Yeah, a couple lockers for this one. I'd be lying if I didn't tell you I wasn't a little bit apprehensive. I mean, this is big hills, big ruts, big rock steps, and um, it's what the Coffs is really famous for. This is one of the most notorious, I think, tracks in Coffs are. Right, I got a copy. Yeah, here we go. I'm up. Yeah, mate. Mate, you're back here again. You're like an Atlantic salmon. Have another crack. Hey, Commando, you only got, well, you only got that first obstacle last time. I mean, what was a pretty, a pretty standard sort of a truck. How do you reckon you're going to go this time, mate? Well, mate. Look, if I get past that first obstacle, it's all positive. So um, let's hope I get past there. Eh? I've got nothing but 100% uh, confidence, mate. I reckon you're going to eat this for breakfast. It's always good to come back, I reckon, have a crack at something that beat you before, and I think you're going to kill this. Yeah, cool, mate. I'm going to bring her up, I think. Let's do it. The Dirty 30 to the top. He won't talk to me. Oh, he's nearly killed Dave. Oh, Dave's gone down. <laughs> oh, that was a committing line. Well, that was the first bit. I actually nearly rolled on that bit before. Okay, he's passed the point to beat him last time, and he did so with ease. Whoa, Struth, that is some wheel lift right there. Righto, nice. next up, stage two, the big ruts. Joy, mate, I saw a manoeuvre then that I haven't seen since the 2007 Summer Olympics. You came down, both came up, this wheel came off, whilst this wheel was off the air, the other one came off and you pivoted and came back down. Two wheels off, landing, mate. two wheel drive. You're going to walk up this. It's pretty scary though, it's pretty oh, yeah. steep. It is. I mean, you can see here folks, I'm one of the taller blokes you'll meet, and I'm only just able to look through the windscreen. Oh, you're going wow. to walk up this mate, you really are. I hope so. This I'm is just going to steady. that left line. And, um, left and just walk up it. Yeah. Try not to bounce around too much, that's all. Yeah. You're really you're bouncing heaps, eh? Hey? Just ball, ball, ball. Well, that's nothing to do about it, yeah. Control this rubble yeah. This truck. No, you're good, that was easy. Walked up it. I'll leave you with it. Alright. Righto, next up, stage two, the big ruts. You've got this, bud. This is it. Arguably the hardest section on commando, the crux. Make this and you've knocked the top off it. Yeah, good drive, mate, good drive. Yeah, good line to start, Sean. Now, the big rock step, mate. This is it, the toughest part. Come on, mate.
Wow. You all right? Yep. Alright, stay there mate, we'll just get this equalised. You're all good in there? You're all right, mate. Are we sure this vehicle's not going anywhere? No, you not can't. Anywhere, you no, physically no. can't. You're up against the bank. Okay. I'm gonna take the foot off the brake then. Mate, wheels aren't even <laughs> on the ground. Wheels aren't on the ground, dude. Okay. The brake's got nothing to do with it. This is probably the most gnarly angle I've ever been on. Yeah, they don't get much more. Oh, they do get gnarlier, Sean. Eh? Really? We yeah. Fix the diff now. Yeah. And yeah, we, that fuel tank that you spoke about. We can get to that leaking dip right real easy now, mate. No, mate. Oh, I've got dip oil running all down my legs. Mate, do you want to uh, hop out, Sean, and, and check it out for yourself? But um, your safety towel's not going anywhere. Yeah, I'll take the seatbelt off. Yeah. Alrighty. Yeah. Okay, mate. Yeah. 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 I'll tell you what. Lucky I have my seatbelt on. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. I don't even know how to get out of here. Just waiting for a mate. <laughs> Jesus. Not a great situation this to be honest with you. I don't think that needs an explanation. My number one, make sure Sean is okay. Number two, let's just everyone calm down. We're gonna make sure we can get the vehicle into a position where it's safe because right now it physically could go back over. So we'll we'll try and we'll try and get it back up onto its wheels or at least stabilize so we can get Sean out and have a look at it. That's the thing. Number one, make sure Sean is okay. Just heard over UHF. The Sean is just on its side. I've got no idea what happened. I've just uh, walked down here to get the car. Everything's gone quiet. I didn't hear a single thing. That is not good. Yeah, it is moving. That's the underside of my car. Yep. At least I made it further than last time. You did. You're nearly <laughs> at the top. I know. I know. Third time's a charm, they say. It'll be a ballsy move next time you drive this. Yeah. Well, we've had a bit of a think tank, and this is what we've come up with. We've got um, a winch from Grants going right out to a tree off a, um, off a pulley block to hold the vehicle and hopefully pull it across. We've also got a backup winch, which is Breno's um, Dominator on the GU there. So if anything does happen, which is very unlikely, one of the straps to break or something, we've got a second winch on the vehicle. And I've even got my Dominator out here and secured to a tree up there. So at the end of the day, my vehicle can't go backwards, it can only come across. So um, the plan now is to get it back onto the wheels. Then we'll probably have to pull it back off this bank and position it back in the middle of the track. There is a lot of advanced winching techniques at play here, and it really is a team effort. The key here is to take it slowly and double check everything as well as keeping clear of all straps. Safety first. With the Dirty 30 back on its wheels, we now need to reposition the straps and winches in order to pull the truck off the left bank and back onto the track where it's on some sort of level ground. There is a total of three winches all working simultaneously here. It's like conducting an orchestra. With the 30 now as level as we're gonna get it, it's time to call Chris in and make sure the engine is okay to crank over. Having been on its side for quite some time, oil or possibly coolant has moved and could have flown into the cylinders. No oil. That's unusual. We all know that liquid doesn't compress well, so starting an engine with cylinders full of oil will be the last thing that engine does. Um, well, this one's fairly lucky actually. Um, normally, being right hand down, being that the air cleaner's on this side, I'd normally fill up with oil. So. We're, we're probably looking at no damage at all, besides the superficial stuff, mm -hmm. which is a win. That's good news. It is. That's what you're saying, we rip these injectors out yep. before you start it, so before any we... oil that's stuck Correct. inside Because what will happen, if there's oil inside the inlet, it'll want to fill up the valve, and as the valve comes up, the piston will oh. do, like lock the piston. Yeah, sure. So the piston and valve will meet because of the oil, trying to compress the oil. Diesels need to have glow plugs removed. The Dirty 30 doesn't have any, so direct to the injectors and each one is removed in turn. The engine is then cranked over, forcing any oil out into the engine bay. That's what that blanket is for, to catch the oil, and make sure that it's free of the cylinders. With Chris now giving the all clear, Sean was able to get the big rig running with a minimum of fuss. That's good work, boys. Okay, from here the general consensus was to winch over the rock step to a small section of level ground. This will give Shauno the best chance of continuing under his own steam. 
It's great to see the old girl back upright and it's just in the nick of time. A huge storm front is rolling in and we've now got a limited window to get to the top and off this hill before it all turns to mush. You think Commando is tough in the dry? Try it in the wet. Utterly insane. Grant's twin locked GQ is doing it easy. He's done this track dozens of times and it shows. Perfect lines and local experience are worth their weight out here. Then of course, there's Rowan in that weapon of a G60. Mate, you are making it look way too easy. Not to be forgotten, Breno in the GU is now up. It's got to be nerve wracking having seen a mate go over. Game face time, buddy. Come on through, bud. She's yours. Come through, mate. Chris in the D40. Great on the spanners and equally as good behind the wheel. that weather closing in, he's amped to get to the top and he ain't holding back. Far as I'm concerned, it's a ballsy effort to get back behind the wheel after a nasty roll, halfway up a hill like Commando. Big respect, mate. With the rain now starting, now is not a great time to have any issues with the 30. No, nope. I take my hat off to you, mate. Big, big effort. Well done, Sean Ape. We'll save the proper celebrations till the pub because some savage weather is rolling in, which could shut this track down. Shono was shown the way, now it's down to Breno and Chris to follow. Woo! Mate, cats and dogs out there, brother. That is one of the ballsiest Mate. drives I've ever seen. Really? To get back up off the ground. I'll tell you what. Point yourself at a hill that's killed you twice. It has. It has. The first time I, I put it on its side, it should have been a good enough home and yep. as it was, but the second, second time, time I thought I got this and I didn't, I, I fell on my side. And um, I'll tell you what, that wasn't even the hardest bit. It kept going, it was even harder because yeah. I was you nervous, got, I was scared, I was, yeah. you know, I've dented my pride, my car, and my everything. <laughs> and um, mate, I'm just so happy to be at the top of Commando. Yep. Keep going, eh? I, I don't reckon too many people would have stood up as you did there. So I was never not going to drive it. When you put it on its side, you got to get up you and go. You've got to go, right, I'm getting to the top of this hill, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Go, Captain. I'll tell you what, over the years I've had some pretty intense first days on adventures all around Australia. I'm going to put this one down. Yep, it's the most intense first day of any trip I've ever done. We're going to finish up here, have a look at this view, head into camp. I'll tell you what, folks, Coffs Harbour, get up here. Yes! <laughs> We're back out in the hills above Coffs and after an epic first day, Coffs locals Grant and Rowan aren't easing up on the tough stuff. But first, we might just be adding one more to the convoy. Hey Grant, got a copy up there? Yeah mate, I got you. You ever bring your uh, your young bloke out mate? Mate, he absolutely loves it as, uh, as often as I can. He misses out on a lot of night runs, but uh, yeah, during the day we'd love to get him out on the weekends. You know what I'm thinking? Bring it along. What's he, uh, what, what's today mate? Is it school day? What's the go? It needs to be home, it's only early. Yeah, no, school day today, but yeah, yeah he's, um, he'll be getting ready for school about now, I'd say. What do you reckon we, uh, we give the little bloke a surprise? Mate, that would be sensational if we could, um, do something with that. He'd just really, really love it. Let's do it. Alright, well, lead the way, mate. Let's go past your place. Oh, mate, he's going to be ecstatic with this. Alright, yeah, let's go get him. I'm excited. 
Introducing Grant's young bloke, Danger. He's a massive four-wheel drive action fan. In fact, he watches the DVDs every night before bed. Good on you, mate. He helps Grant work on his GQ and he can crack a mean whip to boot. Excuse me, are you Danger? Do you know who I am? I am. Can I shake your hand, mate? How are you, buddy? Hey, listen, what do you got planned for today? You gotta go to school? You gotta go to school. What do you reckon we just say no to school? Go four-wheel driving. You reckon? Oh, Give me yeah. five. Yeah! yeah. yeah. Finally got somebody right. go four-wheel driving the same height, mate. I knew that was gonna happen. I knew that was gonna happen. What do you reckon? Can we go? Let's yeah? do it, eh? Alright, let's go. Let's start. Day with Dad, let's go. And just like that, a day off school, out four-wheel driving. How good is that? I just hope Danger's teacher isn't watching. With our convoy complete, we head back into the hills. That's the great thing about Coffs, tracks are so close. Grant and Rowan have promised us one of the single best water holes in the region. Only catch is, it's a little tough to get to. This just dead set and drops away off the edge of the earth, I think, boys. Look how steep that is down there. Yeah, we can see the, uh, the dip in the G60 in front of us here. Going down. Lockers. No, lockers going up, not going down. You just want to use lockers all the time. Just in case. Oh, just in case. Oh, no, no not yet. Well, I'll use them a bit later. Radio guys, here we go. This is one heck of a steep descent. It's all about engine braking here. First gear low, feet off the brake pedal, and let compression slow you down. Concentrate instead on picking a good line. This is a nice little downhill section. This is nice. Don't speak too soon, Sean Ain. Now that is a slide. Oh, Sean Ain's getting pretty good slide. First gear, lower aims it to try not to hit that stump on the left there. That GU is just such a capable bit of kit. I love it. Beautiful. You know a track's steep when your uh, seatbelt locks on. Chris has done a lot of work on his D40 and it really shows on hills like this. Nice drive, mate. Hey Grant, get a copy. Yeah, Grant, go out. Mate, all these rivers here, like the one on our right hand side, are any of these got any decent swimming or any, I don't know, can you access them? Can you get anywhere and swim? Hey, uh, just up the road up here we've actually got two swimming holes. There's a bit of a group there at the last one, so we'll, you might pull up the one that's got a little bit of a jump off today. Eh? Oh yeah. some waypoints in. Well, for this water hole, mate. Oh, oh. good idea. I, uh, I've been here twice before, once when I was doing some camper trailer DVDs, and yeah. I've been wanting to come back to this particular water hole forever, but as you know, this place is just a sea. Mate, there's so many tracks. dirt tracks around yeah. here. So, mate, we're just right here. You can see it right on that little pinch there. That's the spot. Let's go menu, waypoints. Call it secret water hole. Add waypoint at location. Bang, waypoint, done. Brilliant, because that's my VMS. I'll get to go back there all the time. Well, you, but no, you, that's you, a good... You don't want to copy of that GPS marker. That's, mark that's a really good joke, but the, <laughs> the fact is you can actually email me that. Really? Yeah, you just download this, all the software or whatever you need onto your computer. Download those waypoints, you can stick them into an email. Yeah, I'll pop them straight on here. You could worry, do that if you're a nice guy. If you don't get that email, it's probably lost somewhere in the mail or yeah. I don't know. All right, I've got to try and remember where this is because I don't think I'm ever going to see that again. Thanks, mate. Well, we're nice and refreshed after that swim. And now we're heading into the rainforest for possibly the most Breno-friendly hill we've ever seen. Coffs has such a variety of terrain. Steep shale one minute, rock steps the next, then around the corner, 
thick rainforest and crystal clear streams. It's a good idea that you prep your rig for anything because that's exactly what you might encounter out the back of Coffs. Oh, this is a cool little track. That's nice. Now that little camera's still going there. Is it? Yeah. Are you gonna hit really good? No, no, it's good. Oh, sorry, Mr. Cameraman. I owe you one GoPro. <laughs> Whoops. Breno next, and we can expect a gnarly line here. That's a good drive, mate. Perfect throttle control. This is a beaut bit of rainforest, but it's almost time to head to camp. The way out, however, is a hill the boys have been talking about all day. Even Breno is shocked. What do you reckon? What's the, what's the technique here? Attempted. What would you do with your remote control car? Like, I would drive it up the middle. Oh, yeah, the middle line. Turn it down into the lamp. Ooh, that oh, slippery oh, that's little one. It's a ballsy line. And then, I'll turn it in and then turn both ways at the exact same time. I think you've got it. Yeah. I'm, it. I'm, I'm taking tough. that exact line. Oh, I'm doing that one too. <laughs> Do we need lockers for this? We're most definitely going to need the lockers for this one. <laughs> How much does Danger love this? So good to see. That fire. What just happened then? That, that fire is what it did. That was killer. Wow. Uh... That was great. Well, let's hit really? a 260. Come on. Let's see what the Come on. Goes, bring the big let's give it a go, the poor old girl. <laughs> That G60 is pure animal. <laughs> so close, Shawno, so close. I think there's just too much weight in the back, mate. Let's winch, eh? Mate, the idea behind this little setup, of course, is to get 16 tonne of G60 up the front, which is going to act as an anchor point. And of course, we've got a secondary anchor point here in the GQ. And the reason we're taking these measures is twofold. Firstly, that hill is remarkably steep. And secondly, the Dirty 30, despite being only half a four-wheel drive, weighs more than about four four-wheel drives. So we're going to double line pull off the back of the GQ as well. These are just anchor vehicles and primarily in this country here, I mean, it's just so slippery. We'll pull one vehicle back, no problem at all. So hopefully with two, we've got a bit of a chance. <laughs> Give it the berries. Righto, this should be good. This is a spot for this one to be. Right there. <laughs> Breno, you sir are a weapon. That was a tactic that I like to call um, third gear low range. <laughs> Chris, so close buddy, that was a good drive.
we've been given the keys to a private property with a perfect campsite overlooking the Coffs Coast, directly above a banana plantation. Makes sense to go grab a bunch, given the monkeys I'm travelling with. Thanks so much for that. Appreciate it. Really do. Mate, I'll tell you what, I know a thing or two about bananas, and those suckers are green. You can't eat them. Can't eat those, mate. Right. But Cole was good enough to give us some real ripe ones. Yep. And um, they're the ones I'm going to call dessert tonight. Dessert. Mm. What are you going to do? Banana fritters. They're going to be the Sean way because I don't know if I've got all the ingredients. So yeah. I'm going to make it work. Dude, I've had your curry sausages about 18 times now, and every single time you haven't had all the ingredients. No, but I'm they, still come out. they still come out, though. Yeah, not had sausages once. <laughs> <laughs> I still made them. <laughs> <laughs> that was the key. It was curry. Pers persevere what you got, mate. And I've got the best bananas in Australia right now. That's not a bad key ingredient to so banana fritters. <laughs> fritters will go well. Right all, right all. So we've got, we've got chicken farmer a la rag style oh, over here. Breno. Yeah, oh, Breno. Breno. That's, that's bound oh, to be good. No. You've got your deep fried banana gristle. Mm -hmm. Yep. Fritters. What are you bringing to the table? Beer. Good man. Yeah. <laughs> you know we got those bananas today? Yep. I've got a bunch of ripe ones off coal. You did. And I've got to do something with them. Things. I can't just leave them go to waste. No. Too nice for that. Look at that. So what I'm going to do yes. is banana fritters for dessert. Banana fritters. I'm going to cook them. Well, do you need a set of tongs? The, the problem was I didn't have all the ingredients right, so I've done what I usually do and just make stuff up on the fly. Yeah, it's something I admire about you. So that. Look at that. That is a. Look at that. Put that straight in the hot oil. Really are. Sure you want to turn around? Yeah, There's an old rule that says you can't put bananas on your boat. That's correct. Now what's that about, it's mate? The only superstition I have. So you believe that? I do. Big Why? Time. Why? Because um. Look, mate, I don't, need, I don't need any bad luck when I fish, right? No, you don't. I've, I usually take it with me wherever I go, so I don't need anything else that could contribute to okay. my bad luck. But that is an old thing. That is an old saying. Yeah. And yeah, I know yeah. a mate who actually had bananas in his boat just once, just back up and he rolled, his, he's rolled his boat in the bar. He's rolled his boat, so you've got a lot in common with him. Yeah, I've got, rolled everything <laughs> but my boat, to be honest. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Do you reckon these are done? These ones these don't are need done. much longer? These are done. Alright. Yeah, better Jackson Pollock on it. <laughs> That's bloody nice. Look at that. Have you got four? Here it is. Here it is. Here we go. Come on, mate. Oh, is that on. good? That batter is unbelievable. Really? Absolutely spot on. Wow. How golden is it? Can you have a go at this? In all seriousness, folks, I tell you what, we've had one heck of a meal tonight. We've had uh, we've had the old chicken parmigiana um, Breno style, and uh, and now we've had uh, Shawno's Shawno's Shawno. Oh. Sean those uh, bananas in custard, and I tell you what, neither one has looked terribly appetising, yes, but they've both tasted remarkably good. And I tell you, I've got to say, if I was served that up in a restaurant, I would think I had really won the lotto. What do you mean? That just looks, looks fantastic. Great. It looks great. You've done a great job, mate. I'll cheers to that. Oh, cheers, Let's mate. Go on. Coming up on this very memorable DVD. Sean A, Breno, Chris, myself, plus locals, Rowan and Grant tackle the toughest that coughs can throw our way, with some unforgettable results. Damn hard to sleep in with a bunch of blokes cracking whips next to your swag. Thanks, boys. Still, who'd want to sleep with another day on the Coffs tracks? Let's get into it. Copy, Ron. Yeah, mate, I'm here. Mate, you seen the movie Deliverance? That's all right, that's an old one, mate. Yeah, I saw it a long time ago. Does this track remind you of anything, mate? Yeah, it does a bit, mate. This is a beautiful Belgian Valley. Have a go at the water here, mate. I reckon it comes through a great big industrial purifier before it comes down. You, you do it for the tourists, don't you? Yeah, mate. Well, you can bottle this and uh, it'd be better than stuff you buy in the survey. Yeah, I don't doubt it. I don't doubt it. That is just a stunning little river. Did it get busy down here, mate? Or is this a bit of a hidden hot spot? Where we are now is, um, yeah, it doesn't get too busy here. Um, back in the promised land, which everyone will probably know about, it gets pretty busy on weekends. But out here, you're sort of on your own, like last night's camp spot, all by yourself. Well, I'm sold, mate. I'm absolutely sold. Look at that. That is just stunning. Yeah, well, hopefully we get a swim in soon. That'd be nice. Felt that water on. <laughs> freezing. Oh, my man. I'll give you right. <laughs> Damn it. He called that card. <laughs> he called the man up card. Yeah, you've got to be this trip. Yeah. <laughs> and who can argue with a bloke that drives a tank for a four-wheel drive? <laughs> man up indeed. 
The Bellingen State Forest is an untouched paradise of virgin rainforests and crystal clear creeks. It's even better than it looks. How good does that look? I've just seen a fish, so no one's allowed to swim until I have a quick cast because <laughs> you can wait, you can sit on the rock, you can't swim until I catch a fish. It this is what it's, a while. This is what travelling with Shawno is all about. You pretty much some some people go by times of day when they can eat, sleep, all those all those basic things with Shawno. It's about when we can fish. I've got no problem with that. Well there he is. That's either a perch or a bass or a Barracuda Monday, I'm not sure, mate, but I'm going to try and catch it. Shawnee, sure, can't take him anywhere. That bloke was born with fins, I reckon. OK, mate, come on, that's enough. Can we swim yet? Guys, we can go swimming. <laughs> I'm thinking on a rating between very cold and extremely cold, it's right up there with extremely cold. Um, I'm only worried about getting wet, to be honest. Oh, he's going to come in, it's not absolutely freezing at all. Come in. Yep! I just can't convey how cold that was. That is like... It's like water you would just get out of the fridge and pour on yourself. It's absolutely freezing. Did you just do the ice bucket challenge? Yeah, I've done the ice bucket challenge. That one's in style. Woo! Best little co-driver any bloke could ask for. Something tells me that Danger ain't gonna own a two-wheel drive when he gets his licence. The last time Rowan and Grant were out this way on Rocky Track, they had to help out another poor bloke who had just rolled his truck. Coughs, tough as it gets, but Grant makes it look easy. Well, this is one of the more popular tracks around Coffs, pretty notorious too. It's called Rocky. There's actually a couple of names for it. There's a bit of discussion over what you should call it. It could be called Rover, it could be called Rocky. I'm going to stick with Rocky because there's great big rock right here. I like the look of it. Probably this would be the pinch, the little, the little tough part on the track. Uh, we had to recover the camera car from here, the big 80. Um, Bruno drove it like an absolute madman, but just unlocked, didn't quite make it up. Um, I've seen Grant go up it. And as everything Grant's done this trip so far, it looked like he was going to pick up a pizza from Pizza Hut. Just no big deal. I have a feeling though, this next line could be very spectacular. I'm going to see how we go here, but I'm looking forward to watching the boys come up this. Should be good fun. We're going to drive the rock on Rocky, then we're going to rove up and over rover. Stick with me. Clear as mud. Righto, bring up the G60.
<laughs> yeah, a seatbelt might be a good idea, Rowan. Now that was a tough line, but Rowan made it look like a curb in a shopping centre car park. I had a bit of fun driving the camera truck up here. Uh, the patrol should do it a lot easier. I tell you what, I don't envy Sean right now. I've been in situations not as bad of a role, in, not anywhere near as bad of a role as Sean had, but I do know how much it shakes your confidence. So full credit to the bloke for getting back up, dusting himself off and going back out and hitting some more tracks. Um, I, you could not blame him for a single second for taking this one easy, because um, I know I'd be taking it easy. I'll tell you what, so if you fall off the horse, you've got to get straight back on it, and that's exactly what we're doing today. Now, yes, I roll the vehicle in coughs, and um, I roll this vehicle. Today, I'm, um, I'm going to get back on that horse and um, drive these tracks. They're all the same sort of tracks up here in coughs. They're all steep, they're rutted, and um, each one a little bit more gnarly than the next, unfortunately. What? You're going over. No, I wasn't. Really? You can't Maybe try that again. Oh, you want to winch it? It'll just be a disaster. I thought, I thought it was going to all happen again then. Put a winch on it. Put a winch on it. Good call, mate. Good call. Safety first. All hands on deck. Let's get this done. That's actually, that's a good line yeah, to come out of there. Yeah. Cool. We don't make this, mate. I'm going to build a brand with those match tracks that we did last time. Mm -hmm. up, this, up this hole you're in. Yeah. So we'll see how it goes. Keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. Yep. That's good. Nice. Let's tell you what, that was a pretty ballsy drive on Sean's behalf. He's been through the ring of the poor bloke. And that was a pretty gnarly angle. Big winch job as well, but... Many hands, lots of eyes, got him up piece of pie. That was a bit heart and mouth. That was almost a repetition of the other day. That was a little bit scary. I um, I think Sean's heart was in his mouth. I'm gonna go get the patrol and give it a go. Hey, Graham. Yep, I've got you, mate. Bring her up, Breno. Epic drive, Breno. That was classic, mate. Oh, that's hard in mouth. That's ball driving. That is something else. <laughs> that D40 impresses me nearly as much as Chris behind the wheel. So I got the chance to have a ride in the G60, and this is what I got. Soft tops. They really put you in touch with your environment. <laughs> Epic. Best fun as you can have with your clothes on. This is an old logging area with a maze of tracks. Oh yeah, we're off. The logging being done out here at Arara State Forest, mate, that's a, there's a lot of it right around the top, isn't there? Yeah, we still got a fair bit of logging down in Cox and up in the Yulong area. Yeah, I noticed even the other day when we were sort of north of it, there's um, there's a lot of it being done right through the state forest. I guess the good thing about that is that um, they maintain a lot of the tracks, so we've got to get the logging trucks through, which means that you can know. Yeah, for sure. Uh, Breno, yeah, they're, they're always logging, they're always looking after the tracks, which obviously looks after us. So, good and bad in some people's eyes, but it's got to be done, I suppose. We're pretty high. Yeah.
Time for one last short, steep, rutted climb. Coffs just doesn't give up. It's gnarly right to the end. Oh, Breno, that is some wheel lift, mate. Two wheelies? That's a good amount of wheelies. Chris, that was a clean line. Well driven, mate. Wow, what an absolutely amazing adventure. I don't think any of us will ever forget this trip. Big thanks to Sean and Breno for providing the entertainment. And also, huge thanks to Chris for picking up the pieces and keeping us all on our wheels and making sure we can continue day after day. I really want to say a big heartfelt thanks to, of course, Rowan and Grant for bringing us out here and showing us not only these tough tracks, but places like this and little danger. Something tells me we've got to keep an eye on that bloke. I reckon he's going to be on another four-wheel drive action DVD one day, showing up whoever it is. He could even be me. He might even be presenting, but I tell you what, he'll drive better than I do. Now, let's put an argument to rest once and for all. Coffs Harbour has the greatest number of tough tracks anywhere in Australia. That's it. Done and dusted, without a doubt. But to be able to come down here and contrast all those tough tracks with a place like this, crystal clear streams, beautiful camping. I tell you what, Coffs has really grown on me. I'll be back absolutely for sure. Maybe you'll see me here, maybe even be on this rock, maybe you won't. But you'll definitely see me next time on Four Wheel Drive Action. For more on this adventure and to find out all the details that you didn't see on camera, read my article in the mag. Believe me, you'll want to know this stuff. To view our video extras, visit the Four Wheel Drive Action website video page and the Four Wheel Drive Action Facebook page. And for the coordinates of this trip, sign up to our e-newsletter.